What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. Now, a lot of people have been upset with the amount of paid tweaks that have been coming out recently in comparison to the amount of free tweaks that have been coming out. So, what I wanted to do for this week's video is put together a top 10 free jailbreak tweak video for you guys. That way, you know, if you don't have a way of paying for tweaks or even if you do, free jailbreak tweaks are always nice because it's something you can mess with and the price is just right. So, let's go ahead and get started and jump into these 10 free jailbreak tweaks. So first up, we have a tweak called date in status bar, and you can tell what this does based off the name. It throws the date right there in the status bar. So you can see right now that it's January 18th at 1.07 p.m. That's all that it does, no settings to configure. It's just really convenient to have, especially when you're in an application, so you don't have to go back to the springboard to check the date. And next up, we have a tweak called Oops Lock. Now what Oops Lock does is basically give you the ability to accidentally lock your device and then get right back in without having to put in your passcode or scanning your finger. So it's really as simple as that. If you accidentally lock your device and let's say that maybe you need to get back in, you don't have to do anything other than hit the home button. Hit the home button and you're back in. It's really as simple as that. So if you go into the settings here, this is where you're going to configure Oops Lock. Just make sure that it's active. And then right here is your reaction time. And the reaction time is just the amount of seconds that the tweak is gonna listen for that home button press. So you can see that I have it set to five seconds and you can go all the way up to 10 seconds. So this is just really one of those convenient tweaks to have, especially if you accidentally lock your device every so often and you need to jump back in and do something. Next up, we have a tweak called Cache Clearer. Now for this tweak, you are gonna to have to add Ryan Petrit's beta repo. And then once you do that, then you can download this tweak. So what this tweak does is basically allow you to clear the cache of specific applications. So if you have an application that's storing a whole lot of cache, this is gonna be a good idea to grab just so you can delete that cache if you ever need to. So all you need to do is go into your settings, go into general, and then tap on usage, and then we're gonna tap on manage storage. So right here, this is gonna list all of our applications. Now, this is not cache. This is the size of the applications and all the data within that application. So you can see that I have 3.5 gigs in my messages. But let's go to a uh, application that I use quite frequently and I've actually been uh, doing a lot of reboots and resprings so you can see right here if we go into Tweetbot let's go into Tweetbot and you can see that we have documents and data of 9.7 megabytes and then right here we have the option to delete the app which is something that has always been there this isn't a feature of the tweak and then right down here these two options are the features of the tweak you have the ability to reset the app so this is basically going to you know, take everything out. It's gonna basically be a reinstall of the application. So you're not gonna be logged in, you're not gonna have any credentials in the app. It's just like you just downloaded and installed the application. And then right here we have clear apps cache, which is obviously going to clear the cache in that app. So you can see documents and data at 9.7 megabytes. I'm not sure if I have any cache in this, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. So if we tap on clear apps cache, you can see that it was already empty, so no disk, no disk space was uh, reclaimed. So let's go up here and let's give it a shot on another one of these uh, that I've recently used, maybe Gmail. So let's go ahead and clear the apps cache. All right, and you can see that it's actually cleared uh, 35.39 megabytes. So we tap OK, and then if we tap again, it's going to give us that same one that we had uh, previously on Tweetbot. So this is basically all of this does. It allows you to independently clear the cache of specific applications. Next is Spotlight Google. Now what Spotlight Google does is allow you to quickly and easily search Google within your Spotlight. So rather than actually typing something out and then scrolling down and then tapping on search web, all you have to do is tap a G, which means Google, and then type in whatever you wanna search for. So if we just type in YouTube and hit enter, you can see that it automatically goes to Safari and Google's YouTube. So that's basically all of this tweak does. Very simple, if you're too lazy to scroll down after typing in you know, whatever your search query is and then tapping on search web, check out Spotlight Google. Here we have a tweak called Tweet Analytics. Now, this is one that I would actually pay for. This is a really cool tweak. It gives you the ability to check out your Twitter analytics right there within inside the Twitter application. So you can see right here that if we swipe over, open up Twitter, and we go to uh, my profile page here, we're gonna go through uh, one of my tweets. Let's just go to my last, uh, video tweet, we'll go to this one. So if we tap on the tweet, you can see it brings up the card and then we have this new option called view tweet activity. So if we tap on that, this is gonna give us all the analytics for that specific tweet. So you can see that I had uh, about 3,500 impressions 
We had total engagements of 251. And right down here, you have engagement highlights of this tweak. 2.8% of the people clicked on that tweet. 2.2 people expanded that tweet. 2.2%, uh, I'm sorry. And then right down here, we also have 0.9% of the people retweeted that tweet for 32 retweets. So it's just really cool. I think this is a really awesome way uh, to interact with the analytics of Twitter. So definitely check out this tweak if you're interested in that kind of thing like I am. Next we have a tweet called circle icons. And all that this does is basically change the normal icons in your settings to circle icons as you can see right there. So all of these are now circle. And when you change this, you don't have to respring or anything like that. You can see right here if we tap on uh, circle icon settings panel that we have the icon shape so we can go from circle to default and then right down here We can also remove all icons if you want to do that, which just doesn't look good So I don't recommend doing that just set it up like this and it looks really nice and clean So definitely check out circle icons next up. We have a tweet called switcher D&D So if you use do not disturb like I do a whole lot then you might want to check out this tweak basically what it does is allow you to use the mute switch right here as a do not disturb feature. So you can see if we go ahead and toggle this down, you'll notice that the do not disturb little crescent moon pops up right there. And if we pop it back up, then it goes away. So that's basically all that this tweet does. It just allows you to quickly and easily enable or disable do not disturb without having to go into the control center. Next up is a tweet called Banner Buddy. And what Banner Buddy does is actually solve an issue that I had a complaint about back when iOS 8 was released. And what that complaint was is when you use reachability and a banner is up at the top of the screen, the banner doesn't come down with reachability. So you can see right here, if I receive a message and I invoke reachability, the banner comes down right there and I can interact with it just like that. So if we wanted a quick reply, then we can do so very easily just like this. And that's all that Banner Buddy does. It basically brings down the banner with reachability so you can interact with it. Here we have a tweet called Cobalia. Now what Cobalia does is put toggles right there in your app switcher. So you can see right here, if we invoke the app switcher, you'll notice all my toggles right up here at the top. So it allows us to toggle on Wi-Fi, you know, do not disturb, respring, settings, flashlight, you can see it all right there. Now if we go into the settings here and we go down here into Cobalia uh, settings panel and tap on that, you can see that you do need to enable this and then you have your switches. You also have section labels and switch labels. So section label is basically just giving you a toggles heading in the app switcher and then also right here we have switch labels so labels for the switches so you can see what that looks like with both of those on I think it looks better without definitely without the switch labels and I also leave off the uh, toggles label as well right up there so we'll just toggle both of these off and then we'll go into switches and this is where you're going to set up your switches so these are all enabled of course you can rearrange these just by dragging them just like that. And if you want to disable one, so if we wanted to disable airplane mode, we drag that down to dis uh, disabled and then invoke it again. You can see the airplane mode's not up there. So this is just a really cool tweak. Highly recommend checking it out. This is from Hashbang and one I'll probably be using for a little while. And last but not least, we have a tweak called Easy Spring 2. So what this tweak does is replace your power down screen. As you can see, I'm gonna hold down the power button and it's gonna give you these six options that you can do. So it's gonna be really easy and really simple to just hold the power button down and then respring your device or you can shut it down, safe mode, all that good stuff. Now, usually you would get uh, a little glyph on all of these buttons right here, but for some reason that's not working for me. Hopefully that's something that can be fixed in a future update. Uh, you can see right here, if we go into our settings for Easy Spring 2 and we tap on settings, you can see you have three toggles. So replace the power down screen, you can show the icon on home screen, and you can also show the logo on view. So this should be the little glyphs on those buttons which actually aren't there right now. Now if you don't wanna hold down the power button, you can also uh, use an activator method as well. So you can see if we go to the springboard and we swipe over here, you'll notice that we have uh, easy spring right there. But I've had issues with this. If I tap on this and then try to cancel, it actually crashes the device and goes directly into safe mode. So hopefully that's something that'll be fixed. So what I would normally do is just go into the settings here and then uh, turn off the icon. That way it's not on, it's not taking up space and I don't accidentally use it. So that's all that I have for the top 10 free jailbreak tweaks of this week. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right guys, until next time, peace.